Today, we're gonna to be talking about eye contact. Hi, Taylor here at Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. It's currently the middle of 2022. And since 2020, Zoom has been used a lot for giving out information on webinars and presentations and just to connect with people. And although we've all had a lot of practice with Zoom, there's still a lot of people whom, when they're presenting, are looking at themselves, are looking at the people in the audience, are looking down and all around. And does this look like I'm looking at you? Does this look attractive? No, instead, you really want to look into your camera lens. And in order to help you, if it's a little distracting to see people, well then put a cover up on your computer, put a cover up uh, on the actual screen so you're just looking at the lens. What you could also do is perhaps move your camera in a way where it's right next to the screen where you could see people if you're using a secondary screen. If I had a screen with the people right to the side of the camera, I could then glance at them and then glance at the lens. And it's going to make it look like I'm really looking at you, which for the user, for the person actually receiving your content, it's going to feel a lot better when you're giving them eye contact like this versus when you're actually really trying to give them eye contact like this. And so when you're doing virtual presentations, make sure that you're really looking into the camera lens so that way it really feels like you're looking at the people who are watching your presentation versus actually looking at the people watching your presentation. I hope this helps you have better presentations when you're doing a virtual event. And if you need any assistance with virtual events, please don't hesitate to reach out.